Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So today in this lecture, we will discuss about Ohm's law. Okay, so I am drawing here a circuit in which, let's say this is a battery and this is a resistance and this is a voltmeter. and there is also a ammeter okay students so this voltmeter is like let's say it is here only so this is a voltmeter let me erase this Okay, so this is the structural diagram and this law was given by a German physicist named as George Simon Ohm. Okay, find, he find out the relation between current I flowing in a metallic wire. Okay, so this current flowing in a metallic wire with the resistance R and the potential difference across the end of a metallic wire is he find out that the potential difference is directly proportional to the current flowing through it provided its temperature remains the same ok so this is called as Ohm's law in which when we remove the proportionality constant there is a constant named as resistance so this is the Ohm's law V is equals to I R and R is a constant for the given metallic wire and it is called as resistance ok students so SI unit of R is ohm okay and it is also denoted as this symbol so R is V by I it is the if the potential difference if the potential difference across the two ends across the two ends of a conductor is of a conductor is 1 volt and the current through it and the current through it is 1 ampere then the resistance is called as 1 volt by 1 ampere equal 1 ohm ok so this is the relation known as ohm's law ok I hope students now you are pretty clear about what is ohm's law and in the next lecture we will discuss about the factors on which the resistance of a conductor depends so means the factors on which this resistance depends and if you have still any doubt or any question based on this lecture then please do comment in the comment section student. I will be happy to help you guys there. Thank you. Happy learning.